Hi, families and caregivers. My name is Katie Clements, and I work at the Teachers College Reading and Writing Project. And I am back today with another information writing video. Last time I talked with you, I talked about how you might get your kids started on a piece of information writing if they're just beginning. And today I thought I could talk with you about how you might be able to help your child if they've got a draft of an information writing piece and you want to get them more excited about revising that piece. So I've got a few tips to share with you today. And my hope is that one of these tips might end up being useful to you as you're sitting down next to your child. My first tip is that whenever you can, it helps to talk about revision as something positive. Too often, I think our kids get this idea that revision is something negative. They get the idea that writers only revise because they did something wrong in their first draft, when in fact, it's the complete opposite. When we hear from professional writers, they tell us that they spend most of their time revising. So we like to tell kids that revision is actually a gift that you can give to writing that's got a lot of potential. So one of the ways that you might get your kids excited about revision is by sharing some of your own revision stories with your child. Maybe there are ways that you find you revise things at work, like you drafted an email a bunch of different times to get the wording right, or you had a big presentation and you had to practice it multiple ways, changing things as you went. Or maybe there are ways you revise in your own life, like the first time you made mac and cheese for your kids, they complained that it wasn't cheesy enough. And so you've revised your recipe to add in more cheese and make it even creamier as you go through or you revised your holiday card message a few times until you felt like it really represented your family perfectly. You could share these revision stories with kids to help them see that revision can just be a part of their day-to-day -day lives. And you could even invite them to share some of their own revision stories with you. It's all about them helping see revision as something positive, something that they want to take on in their writing. Okay. Here's my second tip. Sometimes when your child sits down to revise their writing, it can feel overwhelming to be looking at their entire piece and to not know where to start revising. So one tip I have is that you can encourage your child to find a part of their piece that they love that they could make even better. So you might ask a question like, what's a part you're already proud of that you could make even stronger? Or is there a part that you think your readers will especially love or need to know about that you could make even more powerful? That way your child's finding a part they're already invested in and excited about to revise. Here's my next tip. And this one might sound familiar. It helps to do some rehearsal out loud before your child writes that part. Sometimes I'll even make this into a game. I like to call it, how else could it go? Where once a child shares a part of their writing with me, I'll say, how else could it go? And together we'll challenge ourselves to see how many different ways we could come up with that that part could go. Two ways, three ways, maybe even four ways. So let me give you an example. Let's say I was writing a book to teach someone about doing laundry. And I'd already written the line, laundry takes a lot of time to do. And I wanted to go in and revise that part to make it even stronger. So I've got laundry takes a lot of time to do. I could think, how else could it go? Ooh, maybe I could tell a story about how laundry takes a lot of time to do. So I might say something like, oh, one time I started doing laundry at 11 a.m. By the time I had all the laundry sorted into different piles and the first load in the washer, it was time for lunch. I spent the entire afternoon putting a new load of laundry in the washer, transferring it to the dryer and folding it. By the time I had finished, it was the dinner. So 
I could give a story like that, or I could think, how else could it go? And I could try it an entirely new way. Maybe instead, I could give a bunch of reasons to capture why laundry takes a long time to do, or I could add a quote from someone who spends a lot of time doing laundry about how long laundry takes. So the goal here is to really get your kid rehearsing a lot. And one way you can do that is by making, trying out different revisions into more of a game so that it feels more game-like for kids because that game-like aspect can be really motivating. Okay, here's my final tool. It helps if you provision your kid with some cool tools for revision. Think about times when you've gotten a new notebook or a special pen. Those new tools that you get can really make the act of writing more enjoyable. And it's the same for our kids with revision. It's really the little things that can make revision more exciting. If your kid is writing with pen and paper, you might gather some post-it notes and colored pens and even bits of leftover construction paper or envelopes that you have from cards you've received, whatever you have on hand, and invite kids to try out their revisions on those tools. I've seen middle schoolers get so much more excited about revising when they can do it on a colored sheet of paper than on a white sheet of paper. If your child's writing on the computer, they might enjoy using different colors or different fonts to revise their writing. And what's nice is that these tools can make revision more exciting for your kids, but they also make it really clear to you or to your kid's teacher that they're trying out some different revisions. So if your child's got an information writing piece going and you want to get them excited about doing some revision on that piece, I hope you'll be able to try out some of these tips and find them helpful. Happy writing.